Happy Monday, everyone. This is Dan Jeffrey with Rocket Stocks, providing again some more trader views. Um, I wish I could say that this was surprising, but honestly, I just did a video last week on IWM utilizing the same methods. So, if you haven't watched IWM trade review, go watch that and then come back to this video because you're going to see the same exact thing. This is what I mean by being a disciplined trader. Sit on your hands, wait for the setups that you know. The the setups that you know is something that you don't have to think about or wonder, oh, is the stock going to go up or go down? You just you identify that, oh, I've seen this before time and time again. I'm just going to take the entry. So, getting right to it, Apple today, super easy trade to do using the same rules and tactics as I did on IWM. So, two minute time frame. We got our simple moving averages, the 200, the 20, and the 8. What happened today in the market? Well, we had a gap down. Couldn't tell you why. It was needed to happen. Um, legit, if you are in our Discord and you, you see our TA live sessions on Sundays, I even warned people about uh, potential selling in our market as well as a potential selling in Bitcoin. Bitcoin went from 57 to 47,000 overnight. We'll look at the video. Called it. Even provided a reason why. So anyways, back to Apple here. Um, Apple, you know, we, we gap down, but we put in this nice little strong bar here, nice big green one. Uh, next two bars kind of came down. And what you got to notice is just simply look at the lows. The lows just held. 128, a solid number, psychological number because it's an equal dollar amount. So anything like 0.00, .00 Point fifty, even the point two five, or you know, the point seven five. Those twenty five cent increments are all levels to watch for, but especially the whole dollar levels and the fifty cent levels. So in this case, one twenty eight clearly was a a level that buyers were there. They had some orders, and I just waited for the opportunity to strike. At the same time, look at the distance from the twenty. Things can be away from the 20, but they can't stay away forever. They always come back. Just like when you throw a boomerang, it usually comes back to you unless you suck at throwing one like myself. But the pros, they can do it. Same thing with the stock. It's far from the 20, goes right back to it. In this case, I waited. 128 tested, you know, the morning low, tested once. Second confirmation, boom. We started making a move up. I was like, all right, how do I find my smallest risk possible? Well, I'm going to enter halfway into this bar to only risk losing. You got it. 25 cents. I only want to lose at most $50 on two lots. 25 cents, 200 shares, $50. So identified my small risk. We started making a move up. We had a nice little ad opportunity right here with a stop under there on that lot. We started making a move up. Killed two lots there. Minus two because we're now at the 20. And then once we just couldn't really break above the 20 and kind of came back down, I ended up killing the trade. Not only did I kill the trade because we were at the 20 moving average, but we were also in the range of this kind of sell-off move here. If you combine the bars, it would look like that in your head. And just kind of anticipate any move up into this is more than likely gonna end up going back down. So I wasn't looking for a long trade here to you know take it and we're gonna reverse the new highs of the day. No, I just identified in my mind a low risk, high probability entry, knowing it's more than likely gonna go back to the 20. And even if it didn't, oh well, I, I found my small risk of only losing $50 at most. And even the small risk up top here was not, once again, a low risk. So this is just how you guys do it. I mean, I show you this all the time. These trades are just are usually similar entries, similar styles because it's a it's my way to trade and not think. Therefore, I just systematically do what I know what I'm supposed to do. So I hope this video helps. Like I said, go look at IWM, come back, watch this trade. Same thing. Add it to your skills of how to identify what a good looking trade is and just understand the distance from the 20 and why that's relevant as well as solid level dollar levels and how to play those just watch it closely they will be areas of support they will be areas of resistance it doesn't matter the price of the stock it could be 50 
It could be a $20 stock. It could be a $5 stock. Those psychological levels, learn to play them. They will help you, so especially when you combine distance from the 20, psychological levels, you got your low risk opportunity all day long, take those trades. So if this provided any value, please thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, feel free to come check out our Discord, especially on those Sunday TA sessions when I literally say what potentially could happen. And for the most part, almost spot on, but I'm not going to be a crystal ball all the time. I have my flaws like everyone else, but I told you so on Bitcoin, fell down, like I said, for the reasons. So please, guys, hit the bell notification icon so you can watch these videos the moment they are uploaded. Hope everyone has a great week. Good start to the week with the Apple trade. And this is Dan Dreyfus, Rocket Stocks, signing off.